Hey everybody, it's Ben Schaff of Level Up Tuts. Thanks for coming back and checking out another free web developer tutorial. Before we start, I want to encourage everyone to subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter at Level Up Tuts. In this tutorial, I'm going to just take a minute to show you two sort of related field types, um, one called date and one called time. These are super easy and they won't take very long but they are uh, very important types that should have some explanation. Alright, so just like the other tutorials in this series, um, I want you to um, bring up your page.yaml file in your field sets directory. We are going to create a new field for date. So just like the others, we've got to make sure we get it at the right level here. And um, this is going to be called um, posted date. And the type is date. Oops. <laughs> Thanks. All right. And we are giving it a display name of posted date. We are going to add some instructions. Enter the date in which this video was posted. We're going to make it required because we haven't done that yet, I don't think. So required true. And uh, let's check it out. So we're going to hit save. Go back to our control panel. I'll refresh the page. It's going to be low posted date. So what happens when I click in here? We get this little, you know, jQuery calendar where I can, you know, sort of breeze through the months pretty easily. And um, you notice that the label is in red. That's because I made it required. Um, I could either change it to false or just delete it like that. And, oops. There we go. Um, and if it's not present, the default for required is false. So, there you go. That is how you create a date field. And time. Um, Again, it's pretty similar. Posted time. The type is time and it's time and the display will just say posted time. And we won't give it anything else. We'll just call it good. There we go. So it's um you know you can type in anything you want here it's going to automatically put it up by 30 minutes but you know it doesn't have to be or uh, 15 minute intervals but it doesn't have to be so there you go that was your introduction to the date and time field type thanks a lot for watching